Today we're going to learn how to use PE to analyze a company. So we're going to do it in four parts. Okay, we're going to start with what is PE, why does it matter, how do we calculate it, and how do we use it. The technical term is price earnings ratio. You take the price divided by the earnings. Price is the market value per share. What you actually pay when you buy a share. For example, you pay $466 for one share of Apple. Earnings or earnings per share. To get earnings per share, you look at the revenue coming into a company and then all the costs that the company has. Marketing, production, etc. You're left with the profit, which is called the net income, which then gets distributed into the number of shares, and that is your earnings per share. So what is PE? PE is price divided by earnings. <laughs> PE matters because it should be the first step for anyone looking into buying a share or selling a share. It's quick and easy and it's fairly accurate. How do we calculate it? We well, already know that PE is price divided by earnings. Apple has the ticker AAPL, that's how you can find it. They have a price of 466, to roughly $466 per share. Their EPS for the last four quarters, to sum it up, is $44.1. Most sites will give you this, and it's called the trailing 12 months. So if the price is 466, the EPS is 44.1, the PE is 10.56. So now when we have that Apple's PE is 10.56, how do we use this number? Okay, so industry average PE, you can have low industry average PE, medium average PE, or high average PE. And this is all correlated to the expected growth of the industry as a whole. Good example for high industry PE is technology. A good example for a medium industry average PE is banks. And a good example of low industry average PE is utilities. Utilities, for example, that would be you paying for your electric bill. Low expected growth, low average PE. Technology there you have a, an expected growth and a do grow uh, the industry as a whole much quicker than both banking and utilities. That's why you have a higher industry PE. So average technology PE roughly around 20. Apple's PE 10.56. Apple's PE is below technology industry average. So anything that is below industry average considered undervalued. Anything that's above is considered overvalued. And this is one way of using PE to analyze a company. Using it just by the industry average, you can see Apple is undervalued. Thanks for watching and if you want to learn more about PE and other ways to use it, we're going to have tons of that at Springfield University and I'm looking forward to chatting with you there.